This is the video on equal ratios and proportions. As always, please make sure you have your graphic organizer ready to go. Let's start working on some vocabulary. Vocabulary you need to know for this portion, this lesson is proportion. A proportion is a mathematical statement that two ratios are equal. Now, if you look at this, you're going to see this compares a lot with equivalent fractions. For example, 16 over 48 is equal to 48 over 144. We know that if we take 48 times 3, we're going to get 144. And if we take 16 times 3, we're going to get 48. Same rules apply as they did for fractions. If you do it for one, you have to do it for the other. Let's look at 2 fifths and 6 fifteenths. What did we take times 5 to get 15? Well, we took it times 3. And if you do it for the bottom, you have to do it for the top, and 2 times 3 is 6. How to determine if ratios form a proportion? Well, our examples are 7 laps for every 14 minutes. What that means is that in 14 minutes, you could run 7 laps. The other ratio is 12 laps for every 24 minutes. That means in 24 minutes you could run 12 laps. We want to compare them and see if these are the same ratio or if they perform a proportion. Step 1. Compare the units to see if they are the same across the top and the bottom. What that means is on the top, this is laps. Well, this is also laps on the top. Bottom is per minute, and this one is also per minute. So, these do meet the first requirement of comparing the units. So, the units are the same across the top and the bottom. Number two, write each ratio in simplest form by dividing by the greatest common factor. Well, if we have 7 over 14, we can reduce by the greatest common factor, which is 7. And when we do, we'll come down in simplest form, it's 1 half. What that means is that they are running one lap every two minutes. Let's do 12 over 24 and reduce that. Well, if we reduce by the greatest common factor of this, it would be 12. And you would also get 1 half. That means at that rate, they are running one lap every two minutes. Now, step three, compare the simplest form to see if they are the same. Well, when we reduced 7 over 14, we have 1 half. When we reduced 12 over 24, we got 1 half. So we did determine that 7 laps for every 14 minutes and 12 laps every 24 minutes do form a proportion. They do have an equal ratio. Let's see if we can practice this. Um, we need to write three ratios that are equal to the given ratio. Uh, number one is 12 over 21. Uh, what we can do to write three of them is to just write, for example, like we did equivalent fractions. Uh, if you take both the numerator and the denominator times the same number, in this case we would get 24 over 42. That would be equivalent. Um, you can also divide. If we take 12 over 21 and divide them both by 3, we would get 4 over 7. That's another equivalent ratio. Uh, we could also take 12 over 21, take them both times 3. And in that case, we would get 36 over 63. So in this case, 12, 21, 24 over 42, 4 over 7, and 36 over 63 are all equal ratios to each other. Another example, uh, let's do 1 to 3. Uh, if you take one part of the ratio times the number and the other part, and you'd get as long as it's the same number. So even though it's written like this, we could still treat it like a fraction. If we take the 1 times 2, we would get 2. 3 times 2, we would get 6. So there's an equal ratio. 1 times 3 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times 4 is 4, and 3 times 4 is 12. So in this case, 1 to 3, 2 to 6, 3 to 9, and 4 to 12 are all equal ratios. 
6 to 8, uh, again, we can multiply them both by the same number. So if we take 6 times 2, we would get 12. And 8 times 2 would be 16. Uh, 6 times 3 is 18. 8 times 3 is 24. Uh, you can also divide out a common factor. If we divide them both by 2, we would get 3 and 4. So 6 to 8, 12 to 16, 18 to 24, and 3 to 4 are all equal ratios. Let's write three ratios that are equal to the given ratio again. Uh, this time we have 6 sevenths, um, just like we did on the others, as long as you multiply them both by the same number. 6 times 2 would be 12. 7 times 2 is 14. 6 times 3 is 18. 7 times 3 is 21. 6 times 4 is 24, and 7 times 4 is 28. So as long as you take the numerator and the denominator, or the top and the bottom, times the same number, you're going to get equal numbers. 4 to 5, uh, if you take them both times 2, you would have 8 to 10. Times 3, you would have 12 to 15. Times 4, you would have 16 to 20. 13 to 15, uh, if you take them times 2, you would get 26 to 30. Um, if you take it times 3, you would get 39 to 45. If you take it times 4, you would get 52 to 60. Alright, so if you have any questions, please let me know. We'll be discussing this some more in class tomorrow. The magical word today is cell phone. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.